<sighs> Every day's a good day when you started as a fluffy boy. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2! I uh, didn't even remotely get it. Oh well. I tried to be cool. That's enough for one day. Last time, we finished up the Dazzling World 4, and this time, oh, we're in the big leagues. We had one spiral galaxy and moved on to about eight quintillion of them. Things are getting a lot more serious, and, uh, well, you see this time, uh, the problem is, I don't even know where we're going this time. Uh, I... <laughs> I know where we're going! Level over! <laughs> we already had enough stars in this world 70! Okay, well, um, because I like making a bad problem even worse, let's give us even more options by calling in the Hungry Luma right away. What do you want? How many do you need? So hungry, feed me delicious starbits. I need to chow on 1,500, then I'll transform. That's almost everything we've got. I'm getting knocked down to a measly 800 again after this guy. <laughs> You're starting to see why I was recommending collecting star bits so aggressively and saying that you're probably gonna need to grind for them no matter how hard you do it, so you might as well take the edge off. Well, he's about to transform! Uh, maybe don't be so close to another galaxy because you might actually be competing for stars with them by sucking them up into your black holy center. Oh! Not what I thought that was gonna be. I recognize that one from the icon, uh, Fleet Glide. Oh gosh, what do I want to do? I'm thinking I'm gonna go in order of the levels that excite me the least to the levels that excite me the most. It seems like you have shared my opinions on a lot of levels. Some of you really liked Freezy Flake, and I'm sorry if I was a little too negative on it if you really enjoyed that one. But for the most part, you've been sharing my opinions, and I think the least exciting one for me is Upside Dizzy Galaxy. That way we'll have a steadily upward progression through World 5, and it'll just kind of get better as we go along. Besides, I've been a little bit too positive lately. I gotta take a walk on the weird side. So I want you to remember for later. That cauldron-looking thing off in the distance. It looks awfully familiar to the last time that we were in a level that had this specific gimmick. And, uh, yeah, we've seen this specific gimmick before, and it looked very similar to this one. I'm not saying that it's a rip-off or anything, I'm just saying that it's very similar. Now, I want you to know how frustrating it is watching the E3 trailer for Super Mario Galaxy 2 over and over and over and over again, having this be one of the first levels that we got to see in it. And yet, they get to this part right here, and they're about to fall back down because they didn't spin. Every time I watched that trailer, involuntarily, my gag reflex would make my right hand do a gesture to make Mario spin right there because I played that much of Galaxy 1, and it just bothered me so much that they weren't doing it in the trailer. Uh, it, it's a very me problem though, but it's one of the strongest experiences I have from watching that trailer again and again and again. Probably second only to just how awkward I thought the music in Sky Station sounded after I was so used to it sounding a certain way. But hey, even if it's just a me thing, I wanted to share it no less because these are kind of my experiences too. Well, I'll go up. Could break every single box, but I see no need to cause an extinction in this area. What you about you, what you say? I'm going nuts here. Really, I thought you were going bolts. Uh, we're getting more and more boxes of junk every day. Do me a favor and burn all these right up right quick. What do you say? Well, let's put you to the work then. These guys are so violent. There's a garbage problem, so they're like exploded. There's a box problem, so they're like light it on fire. And then there's a chop problem, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna tear them apart with my bare hands. And then they actually sit there doing it all day like it's some kind of form of Sick entertainment for them. Uh, no way am I doing this in one try. This is really hard. No. The fireballs that are currently in motion will stop. Oh, no, no, no. That won't do it all. Put some elbow grease into it. I'm amazed you didn't murder me for that. You guys are hardcore. 
I had no idea. Well, I, I guess to be fair, like lighting things on fire, blowing them up, or ripping them apart with your bare hands, I guess this would kind of be the least violent out of those options. So, man, he's the gentle robot out of his kin. He's an outcast. That's why he has to live here in a bowl by himself. Uh, this was a bad idea. It was not a good way to go about this. Nope. Okay, let's give you some hot tips to use in this power-up. So it replaces your spin jump, which makes it very spammable if you jump with it, allowing you to launch lots of fireballs in quick succession. That's generally what spamming means, uh, just in case you were unaware of that fact. And wow, I'm doing worse with these hot tips. Uh, no, don't grab onto the... That was atrocious. I was also gonna say that remember that Mario throws with his right hand. They come out slightly on the right of where he is standing, so it's not truly uh, the same. Uh, just do one fireball here. Gonna launch up. Gonna launch there. Gonna launch that. Uh, okay, my method for doing this is not working. That, that much is clear. Um, gonna go up. Gotta go up. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster zero! No! The zero was covering it up! No! I really thought I had it. Okay, um, new strategy. New strategy that I think will work. Let's go down to the bottom and just do it in columns. That sounds a lot better. Let's do a long jump right away. I hope that pipe doesn't work. Oh no, oh no, have mercy, have mercy. Thank God. Okay, that was a much better approach. If I accounted for that and just threw one at the very beginning to get that one preemptively, we would have done it with like six seconds to spare. Now that's more like it, thanks. I found this star while cleaning. Why don't you go ahead and take it? A lot better than throwing them away. You would not believe the things people throw away. I'm so sorry you have to live this life. I'm trying to catch you up on the hot trends of your people who exiled you for not being violent enough. Well, we'll grab this very easy star. Hashtag chuggalize. Remember how I told you to not forget the cauldron in the background? Well, I forgot about the cauldron I told you not to forget about. I was wanting to show you that you can see this planet in the background when you're flying into the main block castle, but if you go look around the camera here, You'll see that you can't see the block castle from here. It's deloaded, and all you can see is the level design from the inside. Slight oversight there. And we're back into this little room. Many of you have told me that if you complete the first mission with the spring mushroom without ever picking up the spring mushroom, this cutscene still happens anyways, though you did because it's based on the star that you have collected, not the power up. Screaming pulsars. What in the universe is that thing? It looks like a flower with a face. Wow. It's a fire flower. Well, I gotta say there, you collect some of the most interesting stuff I've ever seen. And we still got one more to add to the collection. Whatever could it be? No, that was not a pun. We already have the bee suit. Oh, whoa! Long jumping out of that gets worse and worse every single time that we do it. So sleepy. Well, it is uh, 1.15 in the morning when I'm doing this. I was feeling really into this after listening to the Ruby Volume 7 opener on about an hour on loop, and it was just having me feeling so positive that I was going into it. Let's take a walk on the weird side for real this time. You don't want to just say you're going to take a walk on the weird side and then chicken out and not actually do it. No, when you got the chance to dance, you'd better prance. Not sure what I was going for there. Whoa. Okay, well, uh, ground pounding is not very effective on this, contrary to what popular belief would have you thinking. Um, I'll go ahead and bounce off of you. Going to launch on top of that. No, 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 no. Sounds like a song. Uh, grab the one up. It's because I'm very much into collecting those. Don't you all collect clones of yourself in the basement of your house? 
I do it all the time. Grab you. Uh, gonna use that to my... I said use that to my advantage, not use it to my disadvantage. Okay. Whoop! There is six health. And then we'll use these to our chagrin. Was I the only one who thought the word chagrin was pronounced as chagrin? And I didn't realize that it was the same word as chagrin because I'd only heard the word chagrin spoken and didn't make the connection of what it was like written. Because I did that, I found out that chagrin and chagrin were the same word when I was like 23 years old. I slept a lot in English class, okay? I'm sorry. Um, I'll, hmm. Trying to think about this very carefully. Okay, it's coming back. So we'll flip up into this, come back around, and then get on top to get, let me guess, star bits. How did you know? It's the resource that I care most about having. Oh, Miyamoto, you shouldn't have. Okay, uh, I'll uh, flip that. So here we have timed gravity. It's very velvet and beautiful in its appearance. We can use that to get into the pipe. Slurples, and now we've gone from time gravity to rhythmatic gravity. These enemies here, um, we've seen them before, but with the gravity flipping, uh, they'll have their vulnerable side exposed some of the time and others not. It's a matter of getting greedy if you think you can make it before the rhythm changes or not. Grab all these, a lot of coins for things I don't need. Uh, can I, no, no ground pounding to wor work on question mark blocks. Oh no! Ground pound, or ground pound, I mean long jump. I could not name anything today. There that is. Comet metal, okay. I could eat me one of those and I just did. I consumed it into my being, just like I do with money all the time. And then we'll keep going. Flip over. Uh, can I hurt you with that? No, I can't. You are completely unaffected. And then, oh, one of these, okay. Well, down we go. Bop, nope, whoa, okay. Star bits! I could get them every birthday until I beat this game, which is probably not a single birthday at all for me. <laughs> Uh, and I would be endlessly happy. <laughs> I gotta wonder if anybody's tactlessly rejected a gift like that when they were a kid. I know a lot of kids do. Uh, you know what? I don't feel like waiting. Let's just, uh, nope! Had you going, didn't I? Well, I had me going too. I really thought I was gonna take damage there, but I thought fast, and I got out of it. Got a star. Seventy-two. Big numbers. Galaxy complete. First one of those in a while. I don't think a revisit to that place is necessary. I'm kind of glad that it's done. Didn't overstay its welcome. It was pretty fun. Definitely not one of my favorite levels, but at least I had a good memory with it. I'm thinking... Hmm. Giving it some more thought. Probably a nice short place to match another nice short place. Fleet Glide Galaxy. Blizzard's Wild Battlefield Glide. This bird could barely fly at all in a peaceful jungle, and now we're taking it into a war zone? Well, at least we know we're having fried chicken tonight. That's some good news, isn't it? Yes. Down we go. Fluzzard, Fluzzard, he's our man. He says you're okay and that you can glide with him. Will you glide with Fluzzard? No, thanks. Too bad, so sad. Come back some other time and fly. You messed up your rhythm there. Hint, it's a Comet Metal hint. Fly through five tiny gates, five tiny gates. Oh, they're actually going over the tutorial again. Once again, jumping under Fluzzard, he repels you. He rejects you, you are not the chosen one. Plumbers were never meant to fly, you know? And birds were apparently never meant to not be pancakes by Mario's measure. If you can glide to the big sun circle at the end, you win. 
Starting off, as your tour guide, I will tell you that on your left and below you, you will see this weeping face of terror. Those are Magmargs. Sounds a lot like a Pokemon. Probably a cooler evolution for Magmar than the one we actually got, in fact. Magmargs, I actually thought for a long time that they were Blargs. The enemies from Super Mario World and all that, there's a lot of Mario World references, and it seems like they were meant to be that because Blargs said, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die horribly, aren't I? But like I said, birds were never meant to not be pancakes. Magmars! I was saying that originally I thought that that was what Blargs looked like in 3D, because Blargs had never had a canon 3D appearance before this. Uh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is! Okay, it would have been well worth the damage, but I didn't take it anyway. Good, okay, doing better. Uh, I thought that that's what Blargs looked like in 3D, because they never had a canon 3D appearance before that point. Uh, the closest thing was an unused model in Super Mario 64, uh, which didn't even have textures on it, so I had th oh, Whoa! Cheated death! Cheated death! Cheated death! Cheated death! Cheated death! Uh, those bats back there are called, um, bats. Most clever enemy name of the year, clearly. Uh, they might actually be swoops from Paper Mario, and it wouldn't be unheard of because we've had the Tweester start off as a Paper Mario enemy and go on to appear in other stuff, uh, in other Mario canons. It's all five gates. Take that. Be very careful not to hit anything else on the way out, and especially don't let the door hit me on the way out. <laughs> you flew, you flew, even Fluzzard looks happy. Does he? Here, take this. Aw, uh, he just, he's bashful. He doesn't want to show too much of it. He's like, oh shucks guys, you're embarrassing me. That's how I've always pictured him standing. He's always kind of been like a, kind of a derpy bird. Not a dirty bird, just a derpy one. Something tells me we're gonna have a rematch race. Oh, uh, well now something else is telling me that we're gonna have to go back and do Comet Medals again. Anyway, uh, wow. That was a pretty exhilarating ride. Uh, yeah, I think that should be about enough. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're gonna go back and get that Prankster Comet, I guess, and then move on through World 5. See you guys then.